Hey guys, it's Anthony Fontana here. I'm a CPA with EA Tax Resolutions. Well, today we're gonna get an EIN online at the IRS's website. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so this is the website you're gonna need to go to to get an EIN online. I'll include a link in the description below, but basically in Google type EIN IRS, it'll be the first one that's not an ad. It's an irs.gov website. So make sure it does say that. That's what, this is what you're looking for, okay? Determine eligibility. You gotta be a business in the US um, or territory of the US. You gotta have an ITIN, social, or an EIN, and you're limited to one a day. Understand the application. It's gonna expire in 15 minutes if you don't do anything in activity, and you can't save it and kind of come back, okay? So apply now. Um, here we go. About this, that's kind of what we just read over, okay? Begin application. So this is probably the toughest part of the whole application um, is what is your legal structure? Legal structure is how you're set up with the state. Um, so if you've already got an LLC or corporation or partnership, right, you're gonna click one of those. If you haven't done any of these and you don't plan to do that, you're gonna click that sole proprietor. I'd say most of us are sole proprietors, but not all. So um, nonetheless, we're gonna go through sole proprietor because I think that's gonna be the majority of the people uh, watching this video here. So we click that sole proprietor and you have two options here, household employer. So if you're you know, hiring anyone, nannies, babysitters, anyone like that, that you're gonna get on payroll, you click that button. If not, Schedule C or any other type of business, which is the majority of us, we're gonna hit sole proprietor. Uh, what it is, what it is not, it is not a corporation or an LLC, okay? So we wouldn't, if you're an LLC corporation, you're not gonna use this, okay? Uh, click continue. And why are we getting the EIN? I'd say nine times out of 10 because we, we're getting a business um, and we're getting EIN for banking purposes. So these are kind of the one of the same thing. It really doesn't matter here if you click one of those. Uh, hired employees. So if you are going to be putting people on payroll, paying them uh, a salary, a wage, getting them uh, W-2 at the end of the year, you're going to check that box there. Um, but if you do check that box, keep in mind, Iris is going to be on the lookout for those payroll forms. Okay, so I'd say start a new business, continue. Uh, tell us about the sole proprietorship, okay? So I'm just gonna fill out my name here. There I am. Um, and then my social, which you're not gonna see. I am the sole proprietor, so if you're a third party, that's basically like an attorney doing it on someone's behalf. But if you are the actual business, which you probably are, there you go, you check that box, hit continue. Basics, man, where are you at? That's me. I'm not gonna show this because I don't want you to show up here. Okay. Do you have an uh, address different from the address above? You want, no, I want it all going to this place. If you do, obviously you'll just hit yes and, and type that out. Continue. Oh, I can't put a number sign. There's no suites in here. There we go. All right, yep, verify this, accept database version. Um, if you have a DBA, like with the county or with like your city, you're gonna throw that in there. Um, if not, you know, you just, well, when did you start? And I'm gonna say we started at the beginning of the year. Okay, that's where we're at, continue. Um, some basic stuff, right? Basically, are we a semi-truck driver? No. Is your business involved gambling? No. Um, the 720 excise tax. If you are filing excise tax, you'll know. Most of us are not, okay? Do we sell uh, alcohol, tobacco, firearms? No. Do you expect that? This is a big one here, right? Um, so if we're, we're gonna pay payroll to any employees, if you check that yes button, again, the IRS is gonna be expecting these payroll forms. So. If you're not gonna do it, check no, this is important. If you hit yes and you don't file those payroll forms, you're probably gonna run into issues later, okay? So we'll hit no there, I'm the only person. Then what kind of business do you do? Uh, for me, mine isn't listed here, so I'm gonna hit other, continue. I'm gonna say I'm a consultant. And we'll say service, how about that? Service and I do tax. How about that, boom, continue. Um, how would you like to receive your EIN confirmation letter? I don't know why you'd want it in the mail, but I guess you could there. Um, you can get it online. You're gonna get it at the end of this process. So you just check that box, continue. 
review your information, you hit that submit, run it to hit the submit, you're gonna get an EIN, okay? Um, and be sure to save that EIN. You're probably also gonna get a letter in the mail. Make sure you save that so when you go to do your, your tax returns, everything can kind of reconcile. You're filing the right forms, right? The way we did this here is we'd be the 1040, the Schedule C yeah, is what we would use this EIN for. But uh, you know, if, if you did the LLC process or the, the S Corp process or C Corp, it's gonna tell you what forms you need to file, okay? Make sure that we, we file those correct forms because if we don't, the IRS is going to still be looking for those forms. So this is very important that at the end of this, you save it um, and keep it for your record. Well, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment if there's something else you want me to go through. Um, I try and post out videos on a weekly basis here. Thank you so much.